All right. I'm going to add to the update version 2006 to 2039 update. One little small detail that I forgot to put in the video. And it has something to do with you have we're going to have to do some changes to the database table. So if you're having problems, if that did not work for you in the previous video about updating, then try this as well. Okay? To do it though, you're going to need this Heidi SQL. Now, if you've installed Maria database, then this got installed along with it. So if you see the little green and white HS icon on your desktop, that's what that is. This program allows you to go in and, and fix database issues and do basically database maintenance and different things. All right. All right. So you can get that at HeidiSQL.com, just like it's spelled, HeidiSQL.com. If you don't have it. All right. So I'm logged into it. And you might have to go to YouTube to see how to set this up. But there was a very important little thing. Let me go back over here that he did on Radio DJ that needs to be done if you're having problems. If you're not having any problems, you're good to go. So let me go over here to the forum to show you what he did that was different. Go to new releases. And he mentioned it on the two, I think it was the 2038. Oh, it may have been the 2037. Let's go there. Ooh. Okay. Go back to the 2039 then. It's not there either. I think it's under the beta. That's what it is. So let's go down here to the beta. Beta. 2037. There it is. All right. I think. Didn't mention it here. Let's go to 2036. There was a change in the database that needed to be done. But doggone it, where is it? Do all I don't think it was that far back. Okay. There was a there was a change that needed to be done in the database, and it goes like this. So this is um, the latest that new that we did in the video. So let me find an old, older version. Let's see, three eight, three nine. Let's go down to two. Well, let's go to two oh six. Let me see if we can see this. There was a certain way that the database needed to be installed in earlier videos when you were installing Maria database I told you to check that UTF-8 box where he made a change and that is no longer valid and you can find that like if you go to any of the databases you have and you select the table uh, instead of selecting a data table select the table tab up here and what we're looking at is this coalition value right here. As you can see, we have UTF-8 general CI, and I think this is where the problem comes in. So if I go down here to, let's look at this 238 version. Okay, see the difference? All right, this has that U2, U, what is that? UTF-8 MB4. That value is not a good value anymore. So if you go through any of your um, 
category or any of your tables and you see that value, that value needs to be changed. So let's go and look at this new version that I did in the video and see what that new value is. It needs to be changed to UTF8 underscore general underscore CI. Now you can do that simply by clicking on it and then go to the drop down and, and scroll through that long list or you can copy this. So if I copy this and then what you want to do is you want to go through each of the tables and make sure they all say UTF-8 underscore general underscore CI. Like now this has Latin. This is the event categories. So if I wanted to change that, I would click and I can actually paste the other one in there. Hold on. Paste it in there and then go down here and hit save. Okay. And now you'll see it was changed. So you will go through each table looking for to make sure they all are UTF-8 where, where they're listed. Now, you see these right here, do not have it. Don't put it where it's not where it's not there. Only deal with where it's at. Don't do all of the tables. Or don't do all the values on the tables. And so if you do that, that might help with those who are having rotation issues and other issues. And that's all you have to do. Just make sure you go through and remove or change anywhere where you see the coalition, anywhere you see it on any line, on any row, change it. So it says UF, what is this, UFT or UTF8 General CI. So if I go back down to version 237, let's see what's in there. See, that's got the old UTF-8 MB4. That's what he changed in the latest version. So that won't work in the latest version. Now that's fine in the 2037. That works fine there, but in this 238, uh, 2038 and 2039, it has to be changed to the new value. So if you're having issues, make sure you do that. Make sure you like that one. Now that one works, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure that you change. You don't want that that eight MB four. You don't want that. Even though that works on that version right there. But if you see on the new version, they're all general CI and they all UTF. So that's all you have to do. Hope this has helped. Let me know below in the comments. And um, thank you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.